Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters. Let's go ahead and uh, get into our therapy session. We had a meeting with um, Nella. Jeez. Like, all I did was step away to get uh, get some batteries and, and get, a, get a quick snack of some crackers, uh, some cookies. And uh, just like things just go out of my head right there. All right. Let's get into our uh, therapy session, which I'm sure will be going, will, which will go just fine. How are things between you and Reza? They're okay. Just okay. Rocky. And how do you feel about that? Good-ish or not great, hmm. Nothing's changed. I love Reza. We're having a tough time, but it's worth fighting for, right? Hmm. Things are rougher than they were. It's not like we fight every day, but it's tense. We're circling each other. Yeah, let's be honest. I, I think that the, this not great option is the uh, more truthful choice. Honestly, I don't know. I take the time you need to understand your feelings. I will. In our last session... Last week. Uh, last week, uh, you said you want to remember. Right. About what happened before the coma. Yeah. Is that still the case? Um, I'm pretty sure it is. I've thought about it, and no. I don't want to spend any more time ruminating on the past. It's time to move on. No, no, I mean, especially with that dream we had uh, at the beginning of last episode. I think that Zoe would want to know more now. I haven't changed my mind. I need to go back before I can move forward. I want to remember. Yeah, it really doesn't do to, to just ignore the past and, and move on. Yep. Okay. Good. I think it's right of you to focus on remembering. I believe it will help you wake up. Wake up? Wake up? W what do you mean? I, I am awake. Oh, wait, sorry, I I'm getting a call. That's rude. Do you need to take it? Uh, it it's just Baruti, my campaign manager. I'm, I'm sure it can wait. Sorry about that. Where were we? D what did you mean by waking up? Are you sleeping well? Uh, no, not really, no. And why is that? I, I dream. A lot. They're very vivid dreams. Lucid. Not like... like normal dreams at all. I dreamt of this Do one weird person named Epnaxis. I think my dreams are important. If I talk about them, maybe Roman can help me figure them out. I'm not sure I want to share my dreams with Roman. They feel important, but private. I'll figure them out on my own. Yeah, let's keep them private for now. I mean, they're connected with something that I don't think anyone else would understand. I I don't remember the details. Didn't you just tell me they were lucid dreams? I I guess yeah, but but I I don't remember any specific details. Only fragments, and and they're gone as soon as I wake. Dreams are never just dreams. They can be mirrors. Reflecting our darkest fears and deepest desires. They can provide us with clues to who we are. That explains can why my dreams are always about hand. memories. But let's leave that for next week. Our time is up. Today Already? Is another step forward, Zoe. Regardless of what you do or do not remember. I want you to think about what I said. About working on your memories. About remembering. You really should write down your dreams, you know. It will help you remember. Well, you should be there to write them down for me. <laughs> I, I beg your pardon? Oops. <laughs> Flirt! Oh, go for broke, Zoe. What do you have to lose at this point? Your dignity? Well, yeah, yes, your dignity. Sure. But what else? Nothing. That's what? <laughs> retreat, oh, retreat! That came out all wrong. I didn't mean to flirt. Again. Of course I didn't. Therapist, Zoe. Consider your reputation. Wait. What? <laughs> Retreat! No, I, I mean, 
If we had a session right after, in your office, post-dreaming, then you could, you know, write them down while they're fresh. Oh, right, of course. Uh, well. I should head out, leave you to your note-taking. Always taking notes, that's me. See you next week, Zoe. Same time, same place. You betcha. Same Roman channel, same Roman time. I probably mixed that up, didn't I? Same Roman time, same Roman channel. That's what it should be, yeah. I thought we agreed you wouldn't show up at my office. I am not comfortable with this. She just left, by the way. You probably passed her on the way in. She would have seen you. I'm a ghost, Dr. Zelenka. People do not see me unless I let them. What's, What's going on? Learned? Well, she wants to remember. And will she? I don't know. Eventually, probably. You know what to do if she does. You've made that very clear. What else would you like to tell me today? She's not sleeping well. It's her dreams. She used the words vivid and lucid. Of what she wouldn't say. I get the feeling she's not being forthcoming. She lies to you. No, more uh, uh, omitting the truth. We pay you a great deal of money to make sure Ms. Castillo has no secrets. Uh, I'll, I'll push. Next time. In your professional opinion, is she starting to remember? I don't think so. Not yet. That is all. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, how much longer will I need to do this? Without us, you would have nothing. Do you not want it to continue? Uh, I... Until she remembers. Until then. And if that never happens? Then we terminate. Good day to you, Dr. Zelenko. Whoa, wait, wait, terminate? I'm just talking about, like, employment. But also, uh, Dr. Roman, that is definitely <coughs> violating patient privilege. I just paid the doctor a visit. He tells me she has her mindset on remembering what occurred last year. Yes, Zelenka does believe she will remember in time. There's another thing we just learned. She has vivid dreams, as you said she would. She would not tell the doctor anything about her dreams. She may be keeping secrets from him. If this is the case, he may be outlasting his usefulness. Hmm. Sehr gut, Fräulein. I will contact you immediately if I hear anything else. I have ears in all places. The moment she remembers, we will know. We saw that there was a bug in her apartment. I wonder if that's... Oh, we got a phone call. Sorry, I was with my therapist when you called earlier. Hey, Sissy. Uh, no worries. Can we meet? I'm not working today, so absolutely. Should I come by the campaign office? Let's meet somewhere else. I'm by the river, right next to the memorial fountain in Prista Viste. Uh... Uh, yeah? Sh sure. W when? Now? Uh, whenever you're available. I'll be there. Hmm. All right. Uh, uh, see you soon. So we can check in with Reza at the Hand That Feeds and find Hannah Roth. And meet Baruti by the Collapse Memorial. All right. Well, that is uh, there's a few things to do. Let's see. Yeah, got all three of those. I don't know that any of those uh, immediately prevent the doing of other ones, but I think that we should find Hannah last. I think that one might be the better one to wait on. Okay, we can't go down those steps. Um, oh, a little bit further then. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Can I trip him down the stairs? Demonstrations are a tool for terrorists, huh? Baruti looks worried. Not like himself at all. Baruti looks worried. Not like himself at all. Well, let's go talk to him. What's going on, Bertie? Thanks 
for coming, Sissi. Of course. Well, what's up? Last week, when you asked me about Constantine Wolf, I told you I was looking into Wakanda Mesa's accounts. Yeah? I also remember telling you to be careful. I was. I am. It, it's just... I was hoping to find evidence of Wolf taking corporate payoffs. And? I found something. A... Uh, discrepancy. Pointing to our campaign. To unity. Well, that's not to good. To Leia Uminska. What sort of discrepancy? This is why I wanted to meet you. Outside. I don't know if they have the office under surveillance, if they're monitoring my iris or my wire access. Seriously? What's going on? I don't know yet. But I need to find out. My contact at Bokamba Mesa came across transactions between the Syndicate and Unity. There's money being funneled into our campaign from places money shouldn't be coming from. That's Corporate money. It could be Definitely not good. A, a misunderstanding. There might be a good explanation for it, but it could also be... Corruption. Serious. It could be serious. So I need to dig deeper. The trouble is, I don't know if they're watching me. I, I can't risk it. I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't important, Sissy. Look, if Leo Uminska is taking bribes, or worse... We definitely need I to find to out. Know. Yeah. So, what is it you need me to do? Access Unity servers and download the data. How exactly am I going to do that? Just log in with my iris and wire ID? The eye will be onto you in minutes, CC. No. You'll need a rogue data sniffer and a government-grade black mask protocol. Yeah, it's and a little bit... Need sounds... to use multiple accounts and access points to transfer all the data. Sounds a little hard to Still do. logged in for too long in one location, they could pin you down. Look, I completely understand if you say no. It is illegal, and it can get us both into a lot of trouble. Hmm. I do have reservations, but I don't want to work for a crooked campaign. If something's going on, we need to find out. Uh, I'm definitely leaning towards that. I understand why this is important, but I'm worried about the repercussions. I got in trouble the last time I tried to uncover a corporate <laughs> conspiracy. I don't want to end up in another syndicate interrogation room. No, no, I think we're definitely going to ignore that, that option. I don't have all the information yet. Where did Baruti learn about this? Why was he digging into the campaign finances? Let's go for the uncertainty option first. I think we can then choose I accept have, the mission I don't afterwards. Have all the information. How did you come across this information? My contact at Wakamba Mesa has access to syndicate data streams. I asked him to keep an eye out for certain keywords and names. Hmm. It's a bit ironic in hindsight, but I've been looking for any piece of dirt I could find on Konstantin Wolf and European Dawn. Last week, my contact got in touch. It found something odd. Large donations to a political non-profit in Europolis. I told him to put a trace on it. Yesterday, he messaged me again to tell me he was out. He discovered a link, but it wasn't what any of us expected. There were records of a series of encrypted transactions between the Syndicate and the Unity. And Uminsk. My contact was worried about the implications. He wanted nothing to do with it, which is understandable. Does this gun provide me with enough tech information to get unity? started? Network addresses, logins. If we can grab the data, I can analyze it, find the evidence I need to, to, to do whatever comes next. Hopefully, evidence of no wrongdoing. Maybe someone's trying to falsely implicate Unity. It wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, but why wouldn't it be I out right now? I can't believe Uminska would take corporate payoffs. I mean, not her. I trusted her. Completely. Alright, now we can accept or decline. I understand why this is important, but I'm worried about... I do have reservations, but... No, we're gonna I accept. Want to work for a crook. I'll do it. Where do I begin? Before he jumped ship, my contact made an anonymous drop with all the information we need. I can't risk transmitting it to you, even locally, in case they're monitoring my iris. I've put everything on this crypto coin. Wire addresses, shadow accounts. Use this to transfer the data back to me after you're done. Now, before you get started... Okay. You'll need a rogue data sniffer and a black mask protocol. You know 
just the right person for that. Mira. Yep. Pandemonium. That's what I was thinking. While you're acquiring the data, I'll go to the office to join a remote campaign meeting. If they're somehow alerted to the intrusion, I'll have an alibi. We'll have time to pull out and cover our tracks. Cover our tracks? <sighs> Jesus. This is really happening. It really is. <laughs> it's happening. I'll contact you later and let you know where to meet me. I don't know how long it'll take, but I'll do my best. All right, so, uh, yeah, it, uh, it seems that uh, there may be some evidence of uh, Leo Minska uh, being the corrupt one, as opposed to Konstantin Wolf. Now, obviously, this doesn't mean that Konstantin Wolf isn't himself uh, corrupt. Uh, if I were the Syndicate, I could definitely see myself funneling money to both, since they're both the leaders. Obviously not the Marxists. And if they're not happy with Dieter Gross, um, you know, pulling out from uh, his campaign could definitely be a thing. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely, uh, definitely some worry. We're going to have to be very careful with this. I know at least I know a couple of the ways that this can go. I don't know which options necessarily lead to them. But we'll see how it all goes. Obviously, you know, I mean, we could get caught or we could not get caught and stuff like that, so. But there's some other other outcomes that I am aware of as well. Now, uh, we might want to bring this up with uh, Sully or Reza, too. It could be something that they would be interested in learning about. Let's go ahead and talk to Jonas first. Didn't I see you at one of the protests, sir? <laughs> I think he has a semi-generic uh, face. What are you working on? The Hand used to come out every few weeks, but they recently took on more full-time journalists and switched to a daily feed. Oh, sure, I'll just start writing a story uh -huh. about, mm, let's see, memory loss? Living in denial? Yep. Daddy issues? Yep. I've got plenty of personal experience to draw on. All of these sound great. I apologize for being so testy the other day. I, I was under a lot of pressure, but that's over now. No longer working on that story, Tank Manu. It was really getting to me. Understandable. I'm actually glad Sully shut it down. I mean, I mean, I was angry at first, but then I was getting nowhere. My sources went quiet. No one was talking. I'm not even sure there was anything there in the first place. I honestly don't remember what the story was that you were working on, sir. Unfortunately. Whatever the Church of Vault was oh, that's right. before the collapse, everyone involved is long gone. The world is a different place. Sleeping dogs, etc. Yeah, no, I mean, okay, on on reflection, that does seem like the kind of story that maybe you should have uh, you should have gotten involved in. Uh, <laughs> that 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 Church of Voltec was was. Um, the group in uh, in Stark in uh, the longest journey. <laughs> I had I thought that might have been the case, but I was like kind of vaguely recalling that there were a couple different organizations doing things, and I couldn't remember which one was which. Well, now I'm helping Reza with his story, and it's good. It's good. He's a good journalist. You're lucky to have him. We're lucky to have him. Honestly. I apologize for being so testy okay, the other day. I, I was under a lot of pressure, but that's over now. No longer working on that story, thank Manu. It was really getting to me. All right, Sully. Reza has a great friend and an amazing editor in Sully, and I wouldn't have lasted a month without his shoulder to cry on. Sully's the best. Hey, Sully. Zoe, you're a sight for tired old eyes on this infernal day. What's going on? I do hope you're not here with another delivery of sausages. I fear for Reza's life if he has to go through that ordeal again. The poor boy has the stomach of a newborn lamb. <laughs> There's no proof it was the pork sausages, Sully. Besides, Sausage you guys already got Nella's cart confiscated. No more organic meat for anyone. It was in the public's best interest. My friend's out of work and the collective's out of business. Would you rather they kept selling their contaminated meat? Yes, it's well, meat. I'm it's delicious. sorry about your friend, but... It was newsworthy. I just feel really guilty bringing it to your attention. Let's not talk about it now. 
So, dear girl, is this a social call or a professional one? Both? Just saying hello. It's my day off, and I was in the neighborhood. Quite literally, actually. A social actually. call? Those are my favorite calls. I'm glad you took the time to see me today. How are you, Fistic? Yeah, good. Good. I'm, I'm good. One more good, and you'll have me convinced. I'm good, ah, then. I don't want to overdo it, but I really am good. No, I don't believe you at all. Aww. And how's work? Mira gave me the day off because I don't actually know. She's probably up to something and wanted me out of her hair. But now we get to How learn what it is. You? Yay! The world's falling apart around us and we're quite possibly facing an armed curfew in a few days, so I'm fantastic. Yay! Wait. You know, the more people stay inside, the more time they have on their hands, the more they need us to provide them with news. To tell the truth, I'd prefer slightly less drama and slightly fewer battle suits in the streets. <laughs> The cynical newsman in Tell me, me rejoices. <laughs> I thought you were all cynical newsmen. Age has a way of smoothing the sharp edges, my dear. Does it? But I am honestly concerned. I don't fully understand what's happening. The syndicate's reasons are unclear. The government's gone into full communication lockdown, and no one's talking. It's a dangerous mess. Elections do bring out the worst in people. You think the eye is increasing security because of the elections? I do not. Something else is afoot. Could it be they the want game? The people to stay indoors. They want everyone logged into dream time. They want no eyes on the street. Other than eyes. And this does worry me. Look, I have my worried face on. It's a very worried face. Anyway, I'm off. You're a breath of fresh air, Fistic. Come by any time. That is definitely worrying. I mean, uh, definitely sounds like there is another conspiracy going on. All right, let's go talk to Reza. Sausages. <laughs> I have more sausages for you. Things have been a bit rough. Reza and I need to sit down and talk about our relationship. And I look forward to that about as much as I look forward to having my nails pulled. But, yeah. I do love the stubborn idiot, but I'm also starting to realize it takes more to be a happy couple, and I'm not so sure we are. Understandable. All right, let's talk to him. Hey there. Hey, what are you up to? Relationship saved. Oh, this and that. Bring you more How sausages. things here? Any inside information on our burgeoning police state? I wish. Everyone wants answers. Why have the syndicate sent in the big guns? Why isn't the government saying anything? It's a mess. One of those exosuits got in my face this morning, asked me where I was going. I refused to answer their stupid questions. Played the lawyer card, like you told me to. He's going to be Good. annoyed about that. Well, no! Maybe. You, you do know they record everything. Yeah, well, I'm proudly non-compliant. We really thought the clampdown would be a temporary thing, a, a, a show of force, but... I heard rumors about a curfew. Well, it's possible. I mean, whilst would they send in Robocop? Robocop? The exosuits. Outside of active war zones, I've never seen so many of them in one place. And we're in Propass, not Washington, D.C. Hey, what are you saying so, about the yeah, D.C.? we're still trying to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> but this thing goes deep. If anyone can, it'll be you guys. So, uh... So... Uh... Hmm. What, what were you... Did you... No, no, you, you, you go first. No, go ahead. No, it was nothing, really. What are you up to? I'm doing a favor for Baruti. Yeah, totally illegal. Some campaign stuff. In fact, I should probably go and do that thing that I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> okay. I should work. There's, uh, there's stuff to do. What about dinner? I vote pizza. Uh, let's see. Reza could cook. Reza was the cook. last to cook dinner, so it is my turn. But honestly, I'm sure he'd prefer eating his own food. We could get takeaway. Last time we ate at home, Reza cooked, but I don't feel like cooking, and I'm not going to ask him to make dinner. We could go out. We usually get a takeaway. Maybe we should go out. Last time we did that was in Trieste. Feels like ages ago. Or Zoe could offer to cook. I haven't made dinner in ages. There's a reason for that, of course. My dinners are of variable quality. But I need the practice. I'll offer to poison him. I mean, cook. It's my turn to cook. Huh. Okay. 
Oh, come on. Could you at least pretend to be happy about that? Mm. It's not... Zoe, it's not about your cooking. Isn't Sometimes it? I feel you're not particularly open to new things. I get you something new for lunch, you hate it. Sausequences! You're blaming me for getting sick. How do you know it was the pork sausages? Maybe it was, I don't know, your risotto. Uh, I was vomiting all night. I don't think the risotto... Whatever. I wanted you to challenge yourself. That was a terrible idea. We should just stick with the same old. Oops. And then maybe Nayla would still be in business. <laughs> don't blame me for the fact that she bought illegal contaminated organic meat and let her license expire. You didn't have to write an article about it. Why well, instead let a dodgy importer continue to sell dangerous food? Besides, this isn't even about that. This is about you forcing your choices on me. Aww. Are you saying I'm controlling? No, but I think you need to consider that your choice may not be the only choice. Oh, forget it. This is neither the time nor the place. We'll talk later. Yeah. Whoops. Later. <laughs> Look, I need to run. Message me, okay? We'll figure out dinner. Fine. Whoopsie. <laughs> I guess that was a bad choice. Oh well. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, we have visited Reza. Um so we need to visit Mira and we need to find Hannah Roth. Let's go ahead and get on over to Pandemonium. Moretti looks worried. Not like himself at all. Just run right by, uh, Moretti. So, I'm sure that, M that Mira will be more than happy to help us with our illegal activities. Seriously, what is with the Mohawks? I don't get it. As a fashion statement, it is terrible. Stay off the streets. The okay. streets are unsafe. They're arresting someone. Whoops. A dragonfly. That girl must be one of Hannah's guy. Okay, I did not mean to uh, uh, trigger that. Um, let's see. I I think I forgot where exactly uh, Pandemonium was. Anyway, I think I walked right past it. Uh, but I guess we'll follow this uh, this girl and see if we can find uh, Hannah next time. See you then, everyone.